What up, guys? Um, Nick here, back with the G35. Um, <clears throat> a little tired. I just uh, got done with a long day of work, and uh, whew, I don't know. I figured I'd, uh, you know, the wife is working late, so I figured I'd do something to the car. Um, I did do the carpet in there. If you didn't see that video, go back, check it out. Um, but today, today I'm going to try to attempt to, I'm going to start messing with some of the, some of the interior pieces, um, the center console, um, <clears throat> some of the kick panels, things like that. Um, but I'm going to start with the center console because that's, to me, that's like one of the first things that you look at when you, when you get into the car, um, <clears throat> they see pretty much that dash, that dash space and they see, you know, people see the, the, what you have for a radio and the console and what the shifter looks like and all that stuff. So <clears throat> I'm going to, um, just give it my own little touch. I got this cheap, like carbon fiber vinyl, um, off eBay. I got a whole roll of it at one point. Um, but for the interior of the car, it's what I did the top of the, um, <clears throat> which I don't know if I showed you guys last time, but what I did the top of the roof with of the car and it came out, it came out pretty nice. I'm actually going to redo it. Um, that was my first vinyl, like my first vinyl job. So, um, <clears throat> I do have some little bit of blemishes, you know, where I use my heat gun cause I'm a, I'm a floor guy. So I know how to install vinyl and things like that. So this, this is kind of similar, but you don't necessarily need a heat gun for this, especially on a flatter surface. Um, but what happened was if you can see it, I don't know, see how there's like a little shine right here, little shine right there. That's, that's where I heated up too much with the heat gun. I was trying to like stretch it as I went, but, um, <clears throat> I also had a spot you could see right here that I had to kind of seam it together because it, it I, something happened like, I don't know, it just didn't go together right and I tried to match it up and it actually shrunk a little bit, um, but you can see that the there's like a gap there, but I got the lines that go pretty good, so I don't know. I was pretty, I was pretty proud of the patch job, but like I said, it shrunk a little bit now and <clears throat> there's like a little dust in there and stuff, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm actually gonna revinyl revinyl the whole thing. So, but uh, but that's the same vinyl. And, and that vinyl, I don't really want to leave on the outside of the car. So I I actually purchased a, a higher quality one. Um, I want to do Plasti Dip. Um, a I have a blue color picked out already that uh, actually um, Dip my car did um, or Dip your car uh, did on uh, on their channel and. Um, it did, it did a portion it and I forget the name. It was like a cyan blue or something like that. And it, it was, it was like a, uh, almost like a chameleon or a pearlescent or something where it, it changed like different colors between like a yellow green and a blue. It was really, it was really nice. So, um, I think I'm going to do that, but I just want that for the, you know, the side panels and the bottom part of the car and the windows will stay tinted black and we'll do, like I said, again, carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber top, and a carbon fiber back. So, I don't know, let's see, but for right now, we're just doing the small stuff till we get some more money in to be able to afford the project. Um, so, right here I got the panel that I wanna do. This is the actual carbon fiber. So, it's all rolled up now, but it's decent looking and you can hardly see it, but Either way, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I got my heat gun, I got my knife over here. <clears throat> I already cleaned it off. Um, I used a, 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 a rag or a paper towel and some glass cleaner just to clean the dust off of it. And um, I did take, I do have a, sorry, everything's a mess here because I haven't had time to clean anything, but believe me, I will do the shop video at some point. Um, just right now, everything is a wreck. But where did I put that? I don't know. <clears throat> Might be over here. 
There it is. I got these pads right here. These pads are great. These 3M pads. It's a fine. Focus. There you go. 3M fine. Um, like sanding pad. And I want to say that this one was like an 800 grit or like a 1200 grit or something like that. It said it on the package. I'm not sure. But either way, I used that to. <clears throat> I sprayed the the panel with uh, the console with a. Uh, glass cleaner and then I used this and I scuffed it up and just you know wiped it off and everything to get all the grime and the grease and dust and stuff off of it so that I can get a good stick with this uh this vinyl here because I want it to last so um so basically just to show you uh this piece is where the actual shifter goes and on the back you can see that it's got the couple of screws here I guess where it it screws in, but I think there was like another, see how this clip right here, it's actually broken. So what happens is when it goes in here, <clears throat> pretty sure it sits in like that, but as you can see, it kind of like moves around and you know, it kind of moves like this and stuff. And there's another piece, which I'm not sure if it's right here. This may be, yeah, this is it. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> so this piece right here will end up going underneath. It'll end up going underneath like that. I believe that fits in there something like that. And then this will screw on top. Well, what happened was is one of these tabs broke off, so I have to figure out how I'm going to fix that. I don't know. But either way, for right now, we'll worry about function later. And we'll work on the, the actual looks of it. Because I'm backwards like that, I guess. <laughs> so since this thing is all like rolled up like this and it just wants to keep curling up, I think like the best thing to do since I've used this stuff is to kind of kind of heat it up just to make it more pliable it activates the glue a little bit see how it starts to roll down as I heat it up My plan of attack is I think I'm going to start with the flat part first and then I'll do all the contours. So I'm going to start with this edge. so bad at this part. Try to get it straight first.
freaking sweating i don't know <laughs> so got it as always appreciate it second video down number two so um i do have uh, a couple other videos i did that i'm uh, i'm actually editing now so um it wasn't on the car it was actually on uh, uh some you know the work and stuff i do during the day um so if you're interested to see it uh, please comment below and um, you know I put it I probably put it up there anyway I, I don't really care what you have to say <laughs> unless it's positive unless it's good if it's good then you and I are cool um, but uh, I'll probably go ahead and I'll edit those and uh, just show you what I do during the day um, I find it pretty interesting um, hopefully you guys do too um, but besides that I uh, appreciate it appreciate you watching if you've made it this far through um, that was my little project for today. Uh, I'll definitely do more. Um, and, um, if I can find the description to the vinyl that I used, um, I'll put it in the description box below. Um, but it's pretty simple to find. You go on eBay and find it. So it's really like not that hard of a product to find. Um, and that's one of the cheaper ones. It was like $10 for like a five foot roll or something like that like it was it was ridiculously cheap so um but for inside the car it's great um i wouldn't recommend it for exterior i would definitely get something a lot thicker um and with a higher uh, higher gloss on it or some more protection so that it doesn't yellow on you um but that's what i got so and out of my research that's what i found to be the good thing to do so um but that's it for today um hopefully i'll get a, a video in over the weekend um, I'm trying to do as many as I can, but obviously the money and the project go hand in hand. So uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I'm still going to do that shop tour. Um, but as you see, it's like just mess everywhere. There's just stuff everywhere. So I'm going to, uh, I didn't even see upstairs yet. <laughs> so, um, but I will definitely um try to get something together this weekend um and i also want to start i want to start mocking up the console because i want to start working on the fiberglass work for the tablet dash so i need to figure out what tablet i want to use if there's something that you'd like to see like what would you like to see in the dash please let me know uh don't don't be afraid to drop me a line and i'll do it so um hit me up peace